exactly yep okay. so volos is going to show up you do whatever you want to do to get the key from him uh and then once you have the key that is when the plan so far as far as lu Tu understands it is to perform the ritual to rebind all of the inks yeah that's the yep that's the plan i understand as well yep that makes yep. sense that's what i think yep can okay. we talk about the um abilities that we have like the kinds of moves is there a rule sheet that we should be like should we go back to our white ink rule sheet or we just kind of now we're keys so can we just kind of is do it gonna be mostly narrative or what yes so uh i can talk a little bit about so uh, the here's so i guess yeah if it comes to combat because i in no way want to force you guys into a combat that you that that you that you have no choice about kind of thing mm, sure. so your powers are nearly infinite as as planar keys when it comes to combat it's going to be very very simple you're going to roll a d20 that's it oh, oh, you don't okay. you don't well, add anything to it you just roll a d20 if it is a charisma <laughs> my guy <laughs> the th- the idea is that like you're kind of on a level playing field with Volos, so any bonuses would be counteracted by his bonuses. Oh, yeah, yeah, so yeah. the numbers are just straight. Um, if you roll a 15 or higher, it is a success. Anything else is a failure. Fuck. Um, now that, that counts that it's the same for him. When he uses his abilities, he needs to roll a 15 or higher to count as a success or else it is a failure. What is helping to defend you, like the reason that you need to roll a 15 or higher is because he's very skilled and talented. The reason that he needs to roll a 15 or higher is because of all the defenses that you have built into the chamber that will help you survive whatever he tries to do. You will each have a hit point pool of 10, which means every time he succeeds, it takes one off. Oof. So, fuck. He needs to succeed 10 times in order to kill one of you. Fuck. And okay. a success is rolling a 15 or higher. So when it comes to combat, you can do literally anything. If you're like, I manifest a blue whale and I grab it by its tail and I slap him in his face with the big whale. Um, oh, that's all I now the spoiler, yeah. <laughs> then you roll. I wrote that one down. He read that off my sheet. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> if, if you roll a fucking... Um, uh, a, 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 a fucking 17 on the whale slam, <laughs> then you're going to slap Volos in the face with the whale and take one of his hit points. So the abilities are whatever you want, but uh, it comes down to the role determining whether or not it, it is a success. And again, okay. this is not like health points. It's not like he has a health pool that you're that you're destroying. So it doesn't have to be an attack like that. It can be whatever you want, but you have to roll the success to take it from his kind of success pool. He has he has he has X amount of success pool. And when you when you reduce that to zero, that's when you beat him. Just like you have you don't have health necessarily, um, but when he rolls ten successes against you, you die. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. That so that's sense. that's how it kind of works. It works it's worked a little differently in training and all that because you're just like casting spells and doing things. But when it comes to combat that's basically how it works. It's very simple. You have a, you have a, 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 a whatever, a one in four chance of uh, succeeding when you roll the dice. Now, I will say that if you guys do certain things, certain ways, you such can- Such as cast bless. Yep. Such as cast bless. You can make it a little bit easier. Maybe instead of a 15, it's a 14 or a 13 that you need to beat. Um, <laughs> if you do cert- if you do certain things. I swear to God, it's like you wrote this entire thing just so casting bless would be the most OP. Thing. <laughs> 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 uh, <suck it. laughs> All finally coming together. Exactly. <laughs> um, so yeah, you guys can do things to lower that DC check uh or uh to see if you can succeed on lower numbers but basically you need to roll a success to take a hit point off i have another related question yes in my notes i was going through my notes and i saw my blue ink character sheet says that i can't i don't that says that bless is not available in the white ink anymore 
Now, we're not really in the white ink in this chamber, right? So it's probably going to be totally fine. Uh, correct. You are not in the white ink. In, in, in the chamber specifically, you are nowhere. Yeah. Okay, yep, right. Absolutely. <laughs> okay, absolutely. Bring him on then. I'm totally yep. confident now. That's totally fine. <laughs> um, yeah. I think that's okay. all the questions that I have. Do we want to talk more about the traps that are? We were talking about how we we laid some traps. Yeah. Do should is yeah. Can we can we know more about that or? Those are largely um, narrative to help you survive. So like when he fails an attack, he's not gonna fail an attack. So one of your traps or defenses will help prevent the damage oh, from oh, from hitting yeah. you. Okay. If you sense. want to take your turn to use a trap then you can describe a trap that you've put there and what it does. And again, you'll have to roll that dice to see if it succeeds. So they exist more for a narrative purpose to help balance the scales. Nice, okay, thank you. Yeah. So Lutu is is totally taking on the Obereth and we don't need to worry about the Obereth. That's right. Yeah, he's he's sitting there with his coins, kind of pulling them out, casting spells, and constantly weaving these massive shields above you. They kind of like splinter out, kind of like uh, imperfections in glass, kind of thing. It kind of spreads out above you, and every time it kind of lights up a little bit as he as he reaffirms reaffirms the shield, you see uh, you see Pale Knight kind of sliding along it, looking in at you guys. Ugh. Hi. <laughs> every now and just be, every now and then just be like yes! <laughs> and every now and then slamming against it and causing a ripple through all of you Ugh. fucking weird what's going to be going on with Tom and Betty and, and uh, Kirby and Arinda um, they are currently in the bar and um you uh you heard betty kind of slap a slap something that went like a loud clicking sound then you heard a bunch of gears whirring uh a bunch of kind of movement kind of sound kind of sounding like a transformer transforming all right okay. Uh, and you see them in through the doorway in there uh all holding um quite impressively tuned weapons that they were not holding before oh nice you see Kirby kind of standing in the doorway and he's got kind of like a, this this high-tech rifle uh, and he just kind of like tips his cap. He's like, we're ready. Aren't you all kitted out? Okay. And Volo's gonna get a regret the day he showed up here. Pew. <laughs> <laughs> are, you gonna, are you gonna say pew every, when you shoot it? Probably. Why wouldn't you, right? He's I, gonna be I sorry. Go. Can I give him a hug? Absolutely. Oh my god. <laughs> um yeah, as you walk up to the door to the chamber, um, he just kind of sees you approaching and his eyes start filling with tears. And uh when you hug him, he just he hugs you so fucking hard. Uh, for him, it's really not that impressive for you. It's yeah. <laughs> it kind of, kind of feels like some wet noodles, but uh, he is giving it his all. He is hugging you with his whole fucking body. You're gonna be okay, right, Mr. Galdrick? Oh yeah, I'll be fine. I just I don't know if you will. So I I oh. just wanted to make sure that you know. Well, I, that's I, I, that's I real sweet. That. I've appreciated this journey with you. <laughs> I appreciate it. This dirty. <laughs> and he just starts. He just fucking starts sobbing. <laughs> I love that little guy. <sighs> All right. Well, I suppose we're as ready as we'll ever be. Yikes. It really feels like we should do more. I mean, I know we've done eight months of planning, but it feels like we should do more planning, right? You probably do some more planning. You know what? Cancel. <laughs> <laughs> you see, you see, Lou too kind of look over as he's like Sweating. using the last one. The like the, <laughs> he's he's gone through like half the fucking bag of prime mint coins. Like, uh, canceling's not really a not really an option right now. Uh, we're just we're cancel. we're full just, go. Just take it back. Speak to the manager. We'll do it again next week. <laughs> no. Yeah. Okay. No, we're full go right now. Uh, we're gonna have to. Uh, probably start dropping the shield sometime to let uh, let let old Volos in. 
I mean, I guess so. Hey, if there's no healing potions, we can just heal ourselves. Uh, there's no gear. We let's are the if, gear. And let's see if we can talk to him first. Because maybe he'll, maybe we can, maybe we can trick him into a deal. Yes. Okay, yeah. Wait, maybe we, on. maybe we have an, in, some sort of defensive thing up. As soon as he's here, I guess. Yeah. And then we play a trick and we go, hey, jerk. And then he gives us the key. Wait, yeah, hey, hey, idiot. Hey, idiot. And then he feels just so bad that yeah, he hands he it over. Yeah, it could be something like that. Okay, all right. We are Let's... being Meta Neone when he shows up, right? Or we just all are separate entities? Ooh, keep Meta Neone for a yeah. surprise scary thing? Well, no, it's kind of no. like one of those things where like, you know, you see someone transform. It's like, why aren't they just slapping them while they transform here? Oh, maybe yeah. we should already be. I see what you're saying. Yeah. yeah. Slump, Slump would advocate for being Meta Neone when he shows up because he might not give us the chance to do it. Exactly. Okay, you're well, both right. Yes, that makes sense. Okay, so my next question is, is can, uh, it, it, well, I guess I don't really, how long can we hold the form? Is it, is it like, we're good? Uh, you're you're kind of good. You're kind of good. Oh, okay. you, you've been training for so long that you can just kind of hold the Meta Neone form uh, as long as is needed. All right, I I want to charge at Slump's big fat belly and aim for his belly button, and I want to shout, and I'll form the head, and I jump into his stomach. <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> oh, oh, that's not how we do it, is it? Oh, yeah, exactly. You just kind of like you just kind of like dive right it? into his belly and kind of <laughs> bounce <him>? off. <laughs> oh, that is how we did it. <laughs> I... You threw me in the thing. Oh! <laughs> <laughs> All right. Okay, so who can hold the blue key? Who can hold the blue one? <laughs> um. Okay. I just need. I realized that I removed a song that I needed. There we go. Boop 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 boop. Okay. <clears throat> So you guys go to form Meta Neone. And uh, I think the way that it works is you guys just kind of stand in close proximity and uh, you close your eyes and your forms begin to shimmer and blend, which is very easy to do here in the chamber. Things are so poorly defined here anyways that as you begin to change and shift your bodies lose the outlines that they had and you become more and more of a singular kind of color until that color just kind of blends all together and what used to be Neoni the tall winged glowing eyed angel is now Meta Neone with double the sets of wings, the hard angular facial features, the piercing white glowing eyes, with this kind of billowing ocean of unformed essence that spills out below you. And you stand in the middle of the room, ready and waiting. Are you ready for him to drop the protections? Holy shit, man. Oh my God, ah, uh, fuck. Well, what do you say, team? Well, <laughs> no. Yeah, <laughs> fucking do it. Well, no. So, <laughs> he turns to several <laughs> cut scenes back to back. Make sure Slump. you have enough time and save. <laughs> Slump turns towards the narrative camera and slowly smiles and sticks his thumb up. It's part of Meta Neone. <laughs> Let's do it. Yep. Yep. And as you stand there, ready or as ready as you can be, with the pale knight enraged by this demonstration of using the planar keys, smashing against the shield above you, Lou, too, closes his eyes and the unseen invisible protections that have hidden you from Volos' sight for so long fall. And nothing happens for a moment or two. And then, shadow 
flows into the bar. It is this moving, slithering, slinking, kind of sticky black shadow that kind of rolls in through the bar and Kirby and Arinda and Tom and Betty all train their weapons on it as it just kind of slithers and oozes its way through the bar into the open door into the chamber. And then you lose track of it because in the void of the chamber, this shadow just kind of is lost until as it flows around, you see a red eye pop up in the shadow as it swirls around on the floor. And then it begins to ascend. And it's not until it crosses in front of the lines of ink coming from the, the pedestals that you start to see the outline. And you know that Volos's physical body has been destroyed and this shadow is all he is now. And it reforms back into the classic shape of Volos that you know, made entirely out of shadow. The red eye stops raising up out of the ground. The hood comes over and begins to cloak some of it. And then you see the big, sharp, white teeth form into a large smile. And the smile disappears into a grimace and a frown. Well, well, well. Oh no, he found us! Look what has happened now. Do you Here have any idea what you've done? Why are you here, Mr. Volos? Mr. Voldy Dog? I am here to try to speak reason to you after you've ruined everything. You have ruined everything for me. You've ruined everything for everyone. And there is one final chance to put it right. How do we ruin it? Yeah, it seems we're not the ruiner, Explain. Here, mister. Yeah, you never told us your what? plan, so you we never didn't, told we us know. Why don't what you was, say? What was your plan all along, Mr. Foley Dog? My plan, as I've said multiple times, was to become the supreme, singular prime god of all universes. I yeah, but we saw how give. you ran the redding. That was yeah. crap. It was not great. Not that good. was a means to an end. That's not that my it. full vision. Explain. That was a tool that I built. Why was it necessary? Why in your universe would you need something like that, Mr. Foley Dog? Why would we ever give all the power of the universe and the cosmos to you when you would require something like that? It didn't have to be like that, Mr. Foley Dog. You made it like that. You allowed it to be like that, Mr. Foley Dog. I will admit that what I had created in the red ink was a perversion of my vision. What I desire to make is something so much greater, but I didn't have the power, nor did I have the vision at that time until it got away from me a little bit, to be honest. You see, what we have here are millions of gods across a handful of universes, all with their own designs. This can never be a harmonious existence. This can never be a clear sense of purpose. It will always be a fight. It will always be a struggle. With a singular voice at the top, a singular experienced knowledgeable, unbiased voice at the top, giving out fates, destinies, and purpose. That is how we have a harmonious existence. I can be that voice. And how would Mr. Foley Dog handle 
descent. Descent would be descent against existence. It would be descent against purpose. It would be those who desire meaninglessness nonsense. So you, so you mean to remove free will? I mean to give meaning Value to, to those choice. who seek it. It will come with the price of those who fail to meet their destiny, becoming what failures. Price? I'll probably experiment with a few things. Oh, 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 that sounds great. Sign me up. I am no fool. I understand iteration is what breeds perfection. I am willing to iterate. I am willing to see suffering, pain, death, and destruction along the road to perfection. Look I upon will us. not shy away. But look upon us and despair, Mr. Foley Dog, for look what we have accomplished. How can you be so sure that your path is the correct one when you look at how the fates have balanced out? How can you be so sure if the road you chose led you to this? If the road that you chose and the decisions you made led to where we are right now, how can we be sure that your decision making is really the best, Mr. Foley Dog? How? I believe you got where you are through something I had not accounted for in this existence. Which is what? The power of fate. It is a power that I did not account for in my original designs, and I did not understand in our earlier interactions. I couldn't understand how being so inferior to my knowledge and power could accomplish the things they have. But when I started delving into the powers of fate, I saw that you were touched by fate. You had a strength of fate that could circumvent any and all powers allied against it. I see now that power of fate has waned. In fact, one of you it has abandoned entirely. I am learning to wield the power of fate. I can give people purpose, fate, and destiny. I understand it. You do not. How can we, how can you understand it, but we can't? We got, look at how powerful we have become. How have you grown? You're a shadow. When we met you, you were, look at all your power. What, what has become of it? And you say that you understand this and we can't? Why? Why, Mr. Foley Dog? What gives you the experience that we don't have? Because I was there. When? At the very beginning. I was there when it broke. Why did it break, Mr. Foley Dog? Because I broke it. Did you break it when you tried to control it? I broke it because I was sick of the Prime Ink. I was sick of flat existence, purposelessness, meaninglessness, toiling away. <sighs> what will your man. universe look like in a million years, Mr. Foley Dog? Full. It will be full of purpose and destiny. When I was in the Prime Inc., I saw wasted effort. I saw... I saw... nothing. I saw a void. A place for someone to be to tell us what to do, and no one there to do it. So I decided I would build a spell to break the universe. I would break it into pieces and maintain myself at the very top. I would be the one to give purpose and existence. And when I did this, 
the spell didn't work quite as I had expected. I created the stones, my stones, and I sacrificed hundreds and hundreds of people. I sacrificed thousands and tens of thousands to gather the power required to break the universe. But the problem is, with a spell intended to break everything, you don't get practice runs. You get one chance, and that's it. And when I did it, it worked, but not perfectly. I was also broken. I was part of the shattering. And when I awoke in the broken universe, I thought I had succeeded. I was the singular most powerful force in the red ink. But I hadn't considered that there were others. When I learned that there were multiple universes, I realized what had gone wrong with the spell. That singular power that was supposed to be me was scattered evenly across the different universes. And I realized my plan hadn't failed. It just had another step. Thus began my quest to reform the keys and become the power I was always meant to be. I broke the universe with the purpose of being at the top. That has been the plan all along. I know what it was like. I can fix it. I think I think that like th this explanation has been so sort of thoroughly thought out since you know Volos has had fucking millennia to think about this that I like to think that slumps slumps features which seemed to be maybe more prominent in Meta Neoni just yeah. sort of fade fade back into it. Yeah. Like he he sort of looks looks around like he's having a moment of like introspection and he doesn't know how to respond. Yeah. So he just sort of fades back into Meta Neoni. Yeah. You see, when you were born, you believed in gods and something beyond. You believed in authorities. You had something to do, something to accomplish. In the Prime Inc, being born earned you no responsibility. Dying accomplished nothing, and any and all actions taken while alive had no meaning. I have already fixed this by giving us gods. A stratification of power, planar keys. It is already better than the Prime Inc. ever was, and I can improve upon it further, rather than the resounding chorus of a million gods across five universes. We can have one, one singular clear voice guiding us, assigning not just purpose with words, but with the power of fate. Let me do this. Let me give us purpose. I can bring back everything that has been destroyed along the way. I can undo the harms. I can give you whatever you want. I can bring your friends back. Imagine um. all agreeing. Harmony. Can we speak telepathically to each other since we're in one body? Absolutely. Lou thinks uh, to the others, um, I've known this being a long time. There's no talking with him. I think we need to take him out. While he's talking, well, let's take him out. Well, Sl Slump just thinks that if we can find a vulnerability in his plan or even his psyche that it could be to our benefit. Slump doesn't think he's getting any more powerful right now, but there's still a chance we can learn more about what he wants and how we might be able to monopolize him if we keep him, if we can get some information out of him, but that's just Slump's opinion. Okay. I, I think he's brought think. up a lot of good points. I think maybe we should give him his keys. <laughs> no, 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 that's Wait the opposite second. of what Slump meant. No, I mean, think about no, it, you know. No, he, no, he may, I'm, I'm just no. kidding. <laughs> I got you for seconds, I didn't I? No, let's kill him. Mr. Locke, <laughs> what, what? Shit! Well, Mr. Locke, what do you think? I... I... 
understand where he's coming from but this is not the way to achieve it to have one singular being dictate the fate of everyone yeah that would be bad <laughs> should be, be at least four to be what yeah. I, ran, I ran the moment <laughs> as that well, i'm just that means that mankind humankind are you saying you don't have faith in man to forge their own path to be that individual that can add to the world in their own unique way rather than have it dictated to you because if you have it dictated to you, you just get the same flatness it's just a different color it's serving the will of someone else and that just becomes flat over time you're destined to be a garbage man you're destined to be a millionaire and then it's just rinse and repeat for whoever's born does my um, so I worked a little bit with fate uh, in the blue ink yeah um, does my understanding of it have it yeah how does free will interact with fate yeah so I think fate is uh, kind of like Taviran in the wheel of time yeah, yeah, yeah. in that it pulls and it tugs and it is it depends on the individual and how strongly the fate is is kind of woven and tied and for some people it's a suggestion it's an inclination like i i'm inclined to build software i'm inclined to weld metal um but it's not necessarily and then other people like reality will form itself around them to to make what is supposed to happen happen so it, de it 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 depends on on the manipulation of fate so we're so Lou dog Lou dog and mr teeny todd say attack him what do you think mr lock slump wants to slump thinks maybe we can get some more information out of him but it's, oh yeah uh, oh yeah it's, uh, sorry i i didn't mean we need to like you know attack him right now but oh he has proven himself that you know let's say he, we like oh okay yeah he's gonna be the god that's okay cool him instead of me i mean like yeah. him um you know it what we he has proven to be not a good god yeah and yes his theory is i kind of look at Locke. sound however he has proven himself to be not a good god oh i acknowledge that 100 percent. all i'm <laughs> saying is that why have a god why not trust in mankind because mankind is fucking stupid or any but, kind uh, maybe yeah. there's other aliens somewhere else like remember remember Gerby with his candy <laughs> <laughs> what a fucking idiot uh, remember <laughs> so yeah so slump agrees but slump wonders if maybe we won't need to kill him right away because we could just get him to hand over the key and then blip just give him a little blip now we got all the keys just know. pinch his head and blip that's it that's very true. I still, I do think, I still vote for taking him out right now, starting the fight right now. I don't think there's anything that we can say that would change his his no. set idea of what is right. Mr. Locke, your opinion? I agree. He's been doing this for th millennia. I don't well. think anything is going to change him, but I'd say... Well, maybe I have a little bit of an idea. Hmm? I, I, I might have a little bit of an idea. Like a little baby, little, little beep, 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 little baby idea. What is it? I, again, I do think his idea is, is somewhat sound. Um, yeah. I just think he's putting the wrong person at the top. Well, yeah, that's why it's like, can, can Slump, can Slump try a line of logic with him? We can see how, how it goes over. Uh, yeah, yeah, you can try. Hey. Yes. But don't, but don't fuck it up. <laughs> Slump wants you to think about something, Mr. Vol. Hey, remember, Sl remember Slump, Mr. Volley Dog? Yes, I do remember you, Slump. I didn't recognize you with your new skin. Yeah, Slump's been through some weird shit. Let's say that, Mr. Volley Dog. we we always, we're mate. We're always, maybe not friends. Well, I'd like to think kind of, but we were like acquaintances. 
If Slump wants you to consider something, Mr. Foley Dog, now here we are. We're at the end of all things, Mr. Foley Dog. It's just you and us, and so there's no more gimmicks, Mr. Foley Dog. No more jokes. Slump wants you to think about something, Mr. Foley Dog. What is that, Slump? Mr. Foley Dog, you're real strong, and you're real smart. You got a lot of power, Mr. Foley Dog. You got so much power, you took the whole Mooniverse and went boop, and then it broke apart. And then you were gonna put it back together and be at the top. But there was something that Mr. Foley Dog didn't count on, Mr. Foley Dog. Fate. And Mr. Foley Dog said he's been trying to understand it. But Slump wonders if maybe. Is Mr. Voley Dog using fate? Or is fate using Mr. Voley Dog? <gasps> Maybe Mr. Oh. Voley Dog should wonder if everything that's led him here has just been another seduction of fate, making him believe that he was in charge to put him right where he needed to be, right at this moment. Maybe Mr. Voley Dog should think about that. Holy shit. Pretty good. <laughs> I think Volos actually kind of like turns and looks away a little bit. <laughs> and kind of like, he, he puts his kind of hand where his chin is kind of thing. And just kind of like looks around a little bit, looks at the, uh, looks at the, the, the pedestals, looks up above at the Oberith and looks at you. And he's just kind of thinking. What if you were deceived by ambition, Mr. Foley Dog, and this is what fate had planned all along? You make a good point. The only problem is that... I was the injection of fate. There was no fate in the priming. There was no purpose until I gave purpose to the universe. I gave myself my fate. I decided I would be the supreme ruler of everything. I decided I would be the god of everything. And I decided I would give purpose. Now I had misconstrued my understanding of fates. I accept this. I spent thousands of years in the red ink, toiling away, pretending to be the god of everything, but instead I was a god of a sliver of existence. And I didn't even understand the concept of fate. Things would happen that I didn't even understand. In fact, when I met you, I didn't understand how you could do the things you did, how you survived the things you survived. Anyone else would have died, and I couldn't understand it. Then I cursed you. I cursed you with my first touchings onto fate. And I took your fate onto myself. And that opened my eyes. I realized then what fate was. Fate is an additional sixth power in this universe and is nearly impossible to touch or to see. But I can touch it. I can see it. And I can see that Mr. Vincent Locke has none of it left. What happened? All the threads of fate have abandoned him. He is untethered, unmoored. There is no connection to him, to the rest of the universe, and I can see the doom closing in on him. I could fix this. I could bring purpose back. I could tether fate to you again. This Miss I can do. I am untethered. Yet here I stand, serving a purpose. Not for very much longer. If that is my fate, 
And so be it. Wouldn't you want a better fate? I can give you something. I can give you purpose. I can tether you. I can give you reason to get up and move. I could rebind you to this world. I could stave off doom. I could teach you to wield fate. You could give purpose as well. As he says this, uh, Lou too kind of like, uh, you can see him kind of like, uh, looking kind of shifty and kind of looking nervous. And you look where he's looking up into the sky and you see three faces up there now. Oh God. No. Oh and God. You see six hands gliding across the shield and you see the shield starting to buckle a little bit. Oof. And you can see him, uh, kind of waving towards the, the door to the chamber. And you see Kirby, Tom, Orinda, and Betty walk from the bar into the chamber. Oof. And they're having a discussion. Uh-oh. And then you see uh, Betty look over to you guys. And she tips her cap. And then she kind of lifts her neck up and sticks her chest out. And you see um, Lou Tu plunge a knife into her chest. Oh, what? And you see him weave her entire life force into the shield and reinforces it. Oh my, oh God. my gosh. Holy shit. I think so. would, you, you know the, uh, you, you know the, 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 this is Sparta kick when he turns around and looks at the wife and she does that like slow, like head, like she lifts her head, but she's saying like, yeah, fucking, I, I get you. You know, yeah. that little, that little Galdrick like kind of comes to form in yeah. the Dione and yeah. kind of does that same exact thing. Like, yeah. I understand what you're doing. Yeah. You know? Yeah. And you see, and, and you see uh, Tom, Arenda and Kirby kind of like nod, like they're next. They, they will, they will give themselves to admit to maintain this shield. Internally, I say, it's time. Mr. Foley Dog, S Slumps, sorry to say, we're running out of choices, Mr. Foley Dog. Slump wants you to reconsider, Mr. Foley Dog. You could just give us your key, Mr. Foley Dog, and you could see. Aren't you tired, Mr. Foley Dog? Aren't you tired? For so long, being the only person in charge, aren't you tired? Don't you want a break? Give it to us, Mr. Voley Dog. Give yourself the break you haven't had for generations. Why does it always need to be up to you, Mr. Voley Dog? It's time to let go. You have to let go, Mr. Voley Dog, or my friends, they're gonna make us take it from you. You gotta let it go, Mr. Voley Dog. You're here to let it go. Mr. Volley Dog. That's a good music change. Mm. <laughs> I wonder why I think he's feeling peaceful. <laughs> <laughs> can I do a perception check to see how peaceful uh, Volos is? <laughs> uh, yeah, you can, uh, you can roll a d20 just to see his general peacefulness. Oh, okay. Yeah, he's super hey, he chill. looks pretty happy. Yeah, he looks pretty good. He's, well. su he's super chill right now. Oh, okay. Oh. That's good then. It's going well. <clears throat> Um, I can see now that you're not listening to reason. I can see that you're not about to hand over your keys. You're not going to give me what I need to fix the situation. I made a mistake in the spell that I cast when I broke the universe, and it has taken me a very, very long time to put this much together. I see now that you're going to make it difficult to fix the last bit of my problem, but I have one final offer, one final plea to not make this difficult. And that is, I don't need all of you. One of you, if one, will join me that is sufficient slump's face starts happen. to emerge i can give you 
anything and everything you've ever desired. I know you don't disagree with me on every point. Join me. Join me now. I can destroy you all, but it will be bloody and it will be painful. If one of you join me, we can destroy the other three with ease. I just need one. You can sit at my right hand. You can be in charge of everything. I can hand out fates, and you can be the face. You can be the god of everything. Remake the world in your image if you choose. Roger grins and really considers the offer. <laughs> yeah, I was gonna say, Slump's face appears on the surface of Meta Neoni, and his eyes are looking back and forth. Your, Volos, your methods all along the way have been based in cruelty. Why would we align ourselves with you? You've done nothing but, but harm people we have come to care about, or the world in general, in fact, the universe. There's no good that can come of aligning with you. I have been a guiding force in almost every universe you've visited. The guiding force that I've been has been one of pluses and negatives. I have done good and bad. I have been balanced. I admit, the damage I wrought in the red ink in my early days, before I understood what was happening, is not the world that I would want. But the voice of tomorrow in the green ink, was it inherently evil? Joan Davinia in the blue ink, was she inherently evil? Have I given you such cause to see me as a tyrant? when I have never once lied to you. I have only spoken the truth, the brutal, honest truth. What more can you ask of a god Mr. absolute honesty? We've been to all sorts of different places, Mr. Volidog. We've been inside of all sorts of different inks, and we met all sorts of different people and Slump met a really nice lady who sounded like this loon, 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 in a big tower and she would never, ever have made her universe the way you made yours. You said you made the red ink first and then didn't even know there were other ones and we went there last and look how it was. You had all the time since the start of the universe to make your home a better place and look how it was when we got there last. I needed to the tools. I... You, you have demonstrated your skill as a steward and what you would do with it. And we find it lacking. Valdrick we wants to appear. Oh, sorry. We find you wanting. Valdrick. Wanting. Galdrick wants to pop his head out for the first time because he hasn't talked to him yet. He hasn't said anything. Galdrick's been quiet this whole yeah. time. Yeah. Yeah. Galdrick wants to pop out. And, uh. Oh, fuck. <sighs> Hi! Hi! Hello, Galdrick. It's been a long time. It has been a very long time. Uh. They've kind of said everything that I want to say. So there's only, I'll offer you a choice. I will make your dream come to fruition. If you give me your key. What do you mean you'll make my dream come to fruition? I'll be the one God. You know, less than 1% of what I know. You understand yet... almost nothing of the Prime Inc's power of fate, of governance. You know nothing. You would stand no chance as a Supreme God. I have no faith in your ability to assign fate and purpose. We don't have faith in you. So, Bolos, you can go fuck yourself. And I want to raise my hand, and I want the bishop's bane to appear behind me, and I want to open a volley. Oh, oh nice. my god! Holy shit! <laughs> 
Holy fucking shit. Yes. Fuck. Go fuck yourself. Okay, roll a d20. Ooh, plus advantage, maybe. No, I don't no! think. Oh, oh, shit. Forgot to calibrate before summoning it. Fuck. <laughs> You raise your hand as the aspect of justice and the entire Bishop's Bane pops out of existence behind you, fully broadsiding and all of the cannons open fire. There is a deafening roar as all the cannons explode in fire and smoke and thunder and the cannonballs go flying towards Volos, who raises a hand and the cannonballs turn to ash before they reach him. And that concludes the first three stages of the Wait, finale. Whoa, 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 Engaging in combat did end the negotiation stages. Fuck! Oh shit! <laughs> since when have you, have you ever been to? I'm so sorry. I was about to say, since when have you ever been to a negotiation and then someone shooting the diplomat? It was like, <laughs> let's do that. I, I was in the moment. Let's talk about this. Let's talk about this treaty, please. I'm not, please, no, you no, gotta no, understand. I'm, they'll hang me, please. Don't. This, this whole thing sounds very Django Unchained with Leonardo DiCaprio's final move. I couldn't help myself. <laughs> 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 Um Oh my gosh. Ugh. Shit. We will uh we will be calling it there. Oh, oh my wow. god, to prepare for Whoa. combat, the final three stages next week. The final three stages will be next week Holy as you engage shit. in toe-to-toe -to -toe wow, combat dude. with Volos. Oh my god. We, we got to think of all wow. the best moves. Next Holy time. fuck. Next Holy time. fucking On shit. -A dude. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> that was and as a, as a side note, I had something that I wanted to clarify and I wanted to actually say it while we were all together because it, it was that important to me that la uh, last week when you were saying what is some of the coolest moments from the campaign? Yeah. The one that I the, the one that I didn't mention but popped to my head right away. I was trying to search further back for something earlier, but one of the coolest fucking things I have ever experienced in this entire campaign two things one your narrative intro about the book oh yeah, yeah what yeah. kind of book it'll be yeah and two the a huge one was your entire narrative description of volos tearing through reality God. that oh, was oh, seriously yeah. gave me shivers i was <laughs> i was sitting in my chair completely motionless just totally enraptured your description <laughs> of him tearing through the universe with those streaks of blood and yeah. red ink just yeah. flowing everywhere and taking over everything like the flood yeah. oh my god dude holy <laughs> shit. you're so right that oh, sitting completely still it's dude. like we're like a little field map when uh bilbo baggins is talking to all those kids he goes poof and he turned them all into stone that's how i felt yeah my yeah yeah, yeah. Big bug eyes staring yeah. Up my bop, 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 going, oh my god anyways yeah. um i just had to point that out but holy shit what a fucking episode man yeah oh my god yeah wow so I, you know when you brought up that maybe fate brought you here i was like wait he might go for that yeah. Well, yeah, that was a good one. Yeah, that's only the beginning of my line of 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 logic there. So don't oh, worry, I I've got. It up, and I'm sorry. <laughs> no, <wait. laughs> put the rest in there. Put the rest in the, in the gas tank for later. We might be able to bust it out at a later time. Yeah, I mean, but you know, you never, he might shit. be more amenable to, to conversation after uh, after he's <laughs> getting punched. Yeah, yeah, you feed him a couple knuckle Beavis. sandwiches. Yeah, exactly. Maybe yeah, he'll exactly. be a bit more amenable to listening. Diplomacy. <laughs> um, yeah. But yeah, so uh, a couple little reveals there, huh? Yes. Yes. A couple oh my little God, reveals. Dude. Now you understand my stones. What a punk. Ugh. <laughs> <laughs> he was the one who broke the universe. Fucking um, crazy, man. Yeah. My stones. Oh my God. <laughs> 
And uh, yeah, next time uh, we will pick it up same time and it'll go as long. It might be a shorter session, right? I, I, of I, course. I knew that the final encounter was going to be too long. Like we couldn't start. Yeah, exactly. Now, yeah, yeah, right? Absolutely. We exactly. would not wrap it in one hour. Yep, we we absolutely exactly. would not. And I, I don't want to, yeah. you know, no, go until two in justice. the morning or something like that, yep, right? Exactly. So we will start next time Holy with the shit. start of combat. Fuck. And, uh, you will be going toe to toe with Volos, oh, who my God. I'm not going to lie is going to go all out <laughs> to try to wipe you guys out. Holy fucking shit, yeah. man. He no longer has his box to pull the keys from you, so he has to murder you to take your keys, and wow. he entirely plans to. We'll Fuck. see who murders yeah, who. Yeah, we'll exactly. Find out about yeah. that. Yeah. <laughs> So yeah, uh, thank you guys for the uh, slightly shorter than normal session. No, and uh, no. yeah, we'll be back next week for the one and final episode. Oh my god, of Please Monsters don't. Ain't Real! Wow, I, almost three full years. Yeah, oh boy. crazy dude. Yeah, wow. I don't, <laughs> I don't understand why I want to cry every time I hear that. I know, <laughs> I know right? I, 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 weird. I swear to God, I need to get an air I, filter. <laughs> <laughs> I, I, I started staying into Aaron tonight and started to feel a big old lumpy in the throat. But then yeah. I realized that we have the plan to pro probably meet up once a year or something like that yeah. and hang out and have our characters okay. go on an adventure. Exactly. We're gonna do it. Exactly. I don't care. It's going to happen. The story doesn't end here. <laughs> yeah. We're going to continue. We're so gonna... everyone shut the fuck up about it. Exactly. Yeah. We need a whole noodle shop. We need a whole noodle shop yes. arc. Oh my God. That. Exactly. We're going to have yeah. a whole entire noodle noodle shop inspired Mushi Ishi arc. Let's do it. Exactly. Yeah. 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 Um, Anyways, have an episode hey. where uh where slump helps the noodle bots let's work go. in the kitchen slump that's... and the noodle bot let's make a fucking anime let's go exactly <laughs> that, that relationship is only just now starting to flourish <laughs> exactly come on man know what happens exactly um, yeah um oh, but as a serious note, I just want to say really sincerely, uh, thank you, Tech, for this yes. incredible fucking journey that we have been on that has brought us to here. It is it is one of the coolest fucking things ever, 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 ever to be able to participate in this incredibly epic fucking narrative that has spanned across universes and, and biomes and <laughs> from meeting this entire unbelievably diverse panoply of characters. Just fucking insane. And uh, it just feels so cool to be part of something so fucking rich and robust and to have it all reaching such an unbelievably truly deeply satisfying conclusion like today was so fucking <laughs> cool yeah, yeah, it's yeah. so goddamn cool to be a part of something yeah. that has been so good from <laughs> beginning to end oh, so i just want to say thanks just to, seriously just to bounce on that uh your your word pictures are works of art Oh my god. Oh, so much yeah. so much so that you could open a fucking gallery in multiple <laughs> countries. Yeah, a big oh, man. Like, Absolutely. There's, oh, there's, an, there's a fucking you. reason why I was like, yeah, he's hired. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Oh, Probably dude, yeah, the, man. one of the most amazing oh, hires you will make. <laughs> like, guaranteed. Oh man. Uh, Thank you guys so much. Yeah. This is if, I, if, yeah. I, if I can't, everyone's blowing a lot of lot of smoke up your ass right now. Okay, so if I can bring you back down to earth. Yeah. If I can complain about anything, it's, yeah. it was a little too short. You know, the campaign was a little, <laughs> a little, a little, a little too short. short. That, that yeah. is the exact rest. opposite yeah. tone you've been singing the entire campaign. <laughs> I, was, I was expecting to be in a wheelchair by the time we were done. Yeah, 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 yeah. You know, well, yeah, or exactly, an, or you know, a, you know, a care luckily, home. Yeah, don't worry though. <laughs> Luckily, it's not too late to fix your mistake. We can just, you know, just, you stretch it out. You know, not the it didn't end yet. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That's right. You know, we just need a few couple hundred filler episodes before the end. <laughs> yeah, don't don't worry. You'll you'll blow up Volus, and there'll be a big cloud of smoke, and then he won't be there when it all clears, and the mystery continues. Oh, well, <laughs> <laughs> Turns out awesome. the fate weavers the whole time. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So and so, what we'll probably do is we'll. Have have next week's episode right and then yep. uh we'll probably end and then we might set up one additional episode just to do q a like you guys love ask yeah, any and every love question we, we we ask we get questions from Ooh. chat and we can all talk about everything backstories about you guys intentions about anything story anything so we'll uh right. we'll, we'll 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 have an episode of catch up and q a kind of thing fucking unreal fucking yeah. unreal Okay, guys. Awesome. Then I guess we will be here same time, same place next week 
for the thrilling conclusion of Monsters Ain't Real. Fucking right. <laughs> Thanks, players. Thanks, Chad. Right. Bye, everybody. Yeah. Bye. See you guys later. Love y'all. Bye-bye.